I'm Seth. And I'm Kirk. I'm Tyler. And this is Marketplace Pickers. Kirk, what are you holding, buddy? This is Rachel. Rachel, okay, yeah, all right. Rachel, Rachel's looking for her forever home. I am not even gonna ask you any questions about this. No, there's this. no need. So, I don't know what's happening right now. It's okay. So there's a three-story Unisphere, this exact model in New York that stands there today. So they designed it with this model, and then in the 1960s, uh, they constructed it. So it's still standing, but this is a one-on-one. -on -one doesn't exist anywhere else. It's expensive, 1200 bucks because of what it is. Right. So right. it's just gonna have to go to the right person and mm -hmm. you know find the right home. There's some really cool, unique items out here that you can find every day. So okay. this is our, I mean, this is not our apprentice. This I'm is sorry. Rachel. This is our apprentice, Tyler. He is actually here. We're teaching him yeah. everything that we know about picking the marketplace. We're yes. gonna have to talk slow. We're gonna right. have to really mm -hmm. lay it out it for helps. him. Right. But eventually he should be able to get it and to be able to find these I, really great things I out think here. So. The only rule right now that I have for you is please call me master. Of course. If you could talk, call me master. And this is of Captain. Course. And I'm Captain it's Kirk. Captain it Kirk, is. Master Seth. So. And you guys are the top dogs. Once you get the promotion, I mean, you won't be as high as us, of but course. we'll give you a nickname. But right now, you're just you're just Tyler. I respect right. you. You're kind of it's not like a nobody. You're kind of on the bottom of the are. totem pole, yeah, but yeah, so we'll get there. So Tyler, follow us. We're going to teach you everything we know. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. I don't want Rachel anymore. I'm not. I'm not taking this either. <laughs> This is a cool little toy. This is Japanese. It's Germany. Sprachen die Deutsch. Sprachen sie Deutsch. Actually, it says made in USA. What? It's made it in USA. Sprachen die Deutsch means do you speak German? That's all I know how to say. So no, I don't know how to speak German. It says made in USA, and then over here it says Germany. I don't know. Where is it? Yeah, it's an elephant. It's an elephant. Oh, kind of works. One by P. T. Barnum himself. I'm sorry. No, we carry everything by hand. This is our the apprentice. Peon. He carries everything for us. So for right now, you're our carrier. Yep, let's go. Maybe you should go in there and you should serve us some, some food. Hey, should we get a cup of something and, and share a drink with two straws? That's so cute. Yeah. yeah or three straws. Can we get a, um, a uh, what is it, lemonade? Three straws, please. Thank you, ma'am. This is going to be so <laughs> awkward. You know, what's, you know what's really bad is our heads are all going to touch. I know. Get it in there, buddy. Well, no, this is just a bonding moment for oh, us. Bonding moment. Wait. And maybe I can feed you some food later, like with a fork. Okay. Yeah. Ready? I can't do it myself. Okay, let's just One, be normal. Two, three. <laughs> okay, I, we take your let's glasses do it again. off. All right, All right, let's do it again. Everyone's looking at us. Wait right. a second. One, two, three. <laughs> I smelled your breath. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even want that. I, I thought I was going in for a kiss, man. That's what I, I felt I like. Did. I, no. smelled, I did smell your breath. That made me uncomfortable. That was a new experience for me. I had, I had been chewing on gum. No, no, it's not a bad breath. It was just breath. Apparently, there's big money in vintage clothing. Apparently, there is big money in vintage clothing, that Tyler. The biggest so, market around. In you know, industry. most of the time, we're going to say, hey, you listen to us and, and whatever we say what's, what's you do. This time, I know this is more in your wheelhouse, mm -hmm. the yeah. vintage clothing stuff. Yeah. So we're going to learn from you this time, all right? Come take a page out of my book. All right. All right. Older the better. What's the parameters? Older the better. Band shirts are huge right now. Okay. okay. Now, it depends on preference. Some people like true vintage, which could be anything from 60s, 70s. Okay. I personally prefer 90s, early 2000s, that kind of vibe. Dale Jr. Nice. He's a legend. He's, He's a, legend. a legend, man. Oh, that's wow. that. That's okay, a nice one so there. Harley's popular. So, what would you guess that shirt is worth? Not as much as you would think. 15, 20 guess. bucks? Not bad. It's right in the wheelhouse. All right. It's really? right in the wheelhouse. Okay. Let's really test his knowledge. Okay. Let's let him buy one. Okay. And let's see if he can flip it. Okay. All right. Because you got to make, as long as you can be profitable, it doesn't have to be a million dollars. Buy something, see if you can make a couple bucks on it. All right. Done it before. I can do it again. All right. Let's see it. The bands and stuff are yeah, a big thing bands, right now. NASCAR, I would yeah. say like Harley Davidson, like okay. this, like YGK stuff's coming back. See now, I went to Kent State, so I wouldn't touch that. I, somebody would have to pay yeah. me. Technically to take speaking, that. you just touched it, but you did. But <laughs> that's right, I did touch it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, 1997 World Central Series Central Division champions. I'm a big fan of my colleges, so I might have a friend who could maybe fit it. And if you want me to flip it, this would be the time. That one right there is he a Notre Dame guy? Just a college guy. I like my college hoodies. So what year's that? 90s? Early 2000s? Oh, that's the next oh, yeah. Take a look at the tag. Looks like early 2000s, Russell. Oh, Russell. Yep. 
Can't go wrong. You got the 15? Yeah, I do. So wait, you're, you you so you shop over here while you're working? Just no, talk, talk, lunch like, breaks, of let course. Let us just talk about browsers. this. Yeah. Just browsing, you know. All right, All right let's see you make I, some I money. Got, got some cash here. Yep. Do you always have did your I daddy pay for your stuff? Oh yeah, I did break. I brought Master Seth, so <laughs> he keeps all my money for me. Make sure you guys come back out and Absolutely. see Vintage Soul Thrift out here at the Hartville Flea Market. Thank you. Yeah. We yeah. thought we were going to teach Tyler something today. And uh, it turns out he actually taught us something today. So the vintage clothing is something that we, is not right up our wheelhouse. So this is a classic Notre Dame hoodie right there. Early 2000s, Russell. As you can tell by the tag we were talking about earlier, the tag is everything. That's gonna be your biggest indicator on what year it's from and how much it's gonna go for. And she was even able to haggle with me and work it down to about $5 less than I was going to pay for it. So, so do you're, we'll in, it. you're into it for 10 bucks. Absolutely. What do you think you could sell it for? I think realistically, I could, knowing a couple buddies and a couple people that like this kind of thing, I can easily get 25, 30, just a quick, easy flip. So we're going to keep you updated, let you know what uh, Tyler makes off of this deal. And uh, we'll get back with you guys. Absolutely. I actually ended up selling it to my buddy. He happened to be a huge Notre Dame fan. I ended up actually selling it to him for $35. I bought it for 10, sold it for 35. That's a decent flip. Maybe not to the level of Seth and Kirk's type flips, but I think I did pretty good for myself. That's my first one in a while. I'll definitely take that as a win.